Hi, I'm Andrew Conway and welcome to IPA Update. The Institute of Public Accountants held our first National Congress, the inaugural National Congress at the Intercontinental at Sanctuary Cove on the Gold Coast on the 7th and 9th of November this year. And it was a spectacular event. Having sold out months in advance, delegates were treated uh, to an amazing array of educational opportunities and a great program, including keynote addresses from the International Federation of Accountants President, IFAC President, Warren Allen, and the Minister for Small Business, the Honourable Bruce Bilson MP. They were well supported with presentations from Dr Michael Shaper, the ACCC Deputy Chairman, Dr Craig Latham, the Australian Small Business Commissioner, Deputy Commissioner, John Price, an ASIC Commissioner, Stuart Forsyth, the ATO Deputy Commissioner, Andrea Slattery, the SPA CEO, Matthew Rowe, the FPA Chairman, and Dean Pearson, the Head of Economics at uh, NAB, and also Noel Whittaker AM, just to name a few. In addition to the opportunity to improve their technical knowledge, the IPA National Congress also provided our members and delegates with an excellent networking opportunity. And this was obtained through our social and recreational programs, including the IPA's 90th birthday gala dinner, including a keynote address from Bupa Health and Wellness Ambassador and Olympian and Commonwealth Games medalist, Matt Welsh. The Gold Coast put on amazing weather for delegates to enjoy uh, and the IPA and Dreamtime Resorts would like to give you the opportunity to experience your own Gold Coast holiday. And here is Gary McKenzie, the Managing Director of Dreamtime Resorts. Hi, I'm Gary McKenzie, Managing Director of Dreamtime Resorts. Dreamtime, what do we do? We run uh, accommodation from Cairns to Coolangatta. Some leisure, some uh, corporate. The inner city of Brisbane, we have more corporate properties. And of course, then we've got the beautiful Gold Coast as you're looking at now. To join in the, uh, the buzz for the social media with the IPA Congress, what we've done is offering all members 10% um, off the best uh, rate of the day for any of the Gold Coast properties. We've got seven here on the Gold Coast, so uh, just make sure you call our numbers uh, or send us an email and uh, check for availability. But no, best rate of the day, 10% discount. Thanks, Gary. We must thank our Congress partner, Reckon, for their wonderful support of this great event, along with our gold and silver sponsors and our exhibitors. And planning has already begun for next year, and we're pleased to uh, advise that the venue for the IPA National Congress 2014 will be held at the Crown Plaza in New South Wales, Hunter Valley on the 27th to the 29th of November. You'll enjoy a premier resort accommodation in the heart of Australia's oldest wine region, just two hours north of Sydney and a convenient 50 minute drive from Newcastle Airport. You'll discover a haven of picturesque vineyards, abundant wildlife, and a scenic 18-hole golf course right at your doorstep. With a range of top restaurant and bar options on site, you'll certainly be spoilt for choice. Registration opens on Wednesday, the 27th of November, 2013, exactly one year out from next year's Congress. Check the IPA website regularly to take advantage of our early bird saver packages. The government's recent announcement to scrap the proposed capping of self-education expenses as tax deduction at $2,000 is to be highly commended. And as I said at the recent Congress, this cap was a backward step and would have acted to, to unsettle Australia's productivity. The new government has been quick to revert what would have been very bad policy for the accounting profession and the economy in general. The need to keep up to date is paramount and is amongst the highest of all professions in accounting. And that's why we run events such as our recent National Congress, which attracts many informative speakers and presenters. And a cap as proposed would have detracted from an event which shares significant knowledge across the profession. And that's all for this month. Be sure to take a look at extensive coverage of our recent Congress by clicking on the link below, which includes the keynote addresses from the IFAC President Mr Warren Allen, and the Cabinet Minister for Small Business, the Honourable Bruce Bilson MP. To subscribe to the IPA YouTube channel, please click on this subscribe button and please visit our website regularly at publicaccountants.org.au, our digital hub at pubact.org.au, 
or chat to us on Facebook, LinkedIn or Twitter at IPA Accountants. I'm Andrew Conway and we'll see you next month on IPA Update.